This is Aqua Bottoms coming at you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Hot Toys Iron Man 3 Hall of Armor. Which is, uh, when you come around here to the side, part of their Diorama series. And as you can see, Hall of Armor, come around here to the back, and you get the various warnings and things of that nature. Now this is a very simplistic box. There's not really much going on with it. This is really all you have. There's nothing on the bottom. You come around to the top, and all it says is the Hall of Armor. So right off the front, it's, it's a much more reduced kind of packaging. When compared to a lot of the other packages that we get before with really nice artwork and things of that nature, this is very simple. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but honestly, it is something that surprises me a little bit. I, we, we usually get much more elaborate boxes and things of that nature with this, but uh, I guess I could just say that we're spoiled. Now, the Hall of Armor comes in three different kind of sets. It comes in a one-piece, as well as a four-pack, and additionally, a seven-pack. So you can pick and choose, really, what you want to do. If you only have a couple Iron Man suits that you want to display, you can do it that way. Or if you've collected all of them, you can get all seven of these guys. But each different set comes shipped in a different kind of setup. Now, for me, I got the seven-pack, so I got a very large box. The individual one probably comes in more of a standard kind of brown mailer packaging, whereas the four-pack probably comes in a little bit bigger of one. But you can see that this is a fairly large-sized box, and it is Hot Toys, so you most people still would want to keep this nice. The problem that I experienced right when I got it, when I got mine, and as you can see, this is a very large box. Like I said, I got the seven-pack, and here's a couple of the additional. Well, these are actually empty ones, but as you can see, that is how I got mine, and I was extremely disappointed, except, uh, well, I mean, coming around to the top, you can see Hall of Armor, it says set of seven, and then you open it up, and then along the side here, the, the front of this uh, is just the same front, but you can see, get this out of the way, um, here's another empty one, the, the actual front, and I'll just throw that down there. Get it all the way out of the way. Uh, you can see that the front of that just replicates the front of the uh, actual box itself. But all of these come packed in here. So you have a total of four on the bottom and then one, two, three. You have an empty spot right here. But when you see this, you don't necessarily know. What they actually do is, let me grab it. I'm moving things around. They have that in there. And you can see, it just says empty across the top. But that's what ended up getting damaged. So I was extremely worried about that at first, but luckily this was the only thing that was damaged. So if you do have a hole like that, hopefully this is the only thing that's getting damaged on anybody's packages. Now that's not necessarily going to happen to everybody's. I just wanted to make mention of it because, like I said, that really worried me at first. Like I said, I just wanted to make mention of that so that you guys know. Now, these by themselves are very well packaged. When you open it up, you do have the very hard foam pieces, and I'm hitting the camera, sorry guys. Uh, you have a total of four of these little foam pieces. You got two across the top, and you got two across the bottom, and I'm hitting everything. So, these are very nicely, and it's packed in just some, well, some like that I guess so they are well it comes across the top like this so this is very protective but like I said when I saw that giant hole it did worry me but I was uh, very happy to see that empty box in there was the only thing that got destroyed so that's about it for the the packaging on here I know it kind of went a little bit longer than I anticipated it would but there it is so let's get to the real reason why you guys are here and let's take a look at the Hall of Armor Alright guys, so here we have a Hall of Armor opened up and out of its packaging. Now right up front I want to tell you that this comes basically fully assembled. The only thing that you essentially have to do is here's the, the, the outer plastic plexiglass thing. It is a plexiglass and you can see it's got this really ugly film on it that you just peel off just like so but setting that off to the side there and then you have the adjustable cradle which you just remove that take this it does have a little screw so that you can adjust it but I, I actually think that it slides in there perfectly fine it doesn't have any uh, problem fitting in there and then you have the hole on the inside here and coming in so that you can kind of see it you just take that 
set that right in the middle and basically it's fully assembled now if you do have more of these you do have to assemble them all together and connect them that takes a little bit more time to do but if you just have one you're ready to go now I will show you how to connect them and it's really ridiculously simple the other thing is that uh, it does require a total of six AA batteries and three AAA batteries now if you have an AC adapter you don't need the batteries uh, the, the actual instructions here I think it's an AC adapter uh, or a D, I'm sorry DC 4.5 adapter and then depending on what country you're in you know make sure that you have the right adapter with the, the appropriate voltage and stuff like that but the size is a DC 4.5 and if you have that you can actually keep this illuminated all the time except there is one minor problem these wall panels here these are not powered by the same uh, connection that the, the actual base here is powered by so in activating that and also what it looks like when it's all lit up and connected and everything and actually powered by one of those AC adapters but you got two little buttons you got one here and one here and like I said the base section here is powered by those three AAA batteries you turn this one on right here and it actually illuminates the holographic emitter or whatever so you do have those three lights that come up and then this button here lights up everything else so hitting that you can see it lights up the panel around here you got some panels here and then of course through the top and then right up here at the very top England geez, where is it there it is all the way at the very top lighting up the actual head uh, basically of the figure now like I said the double a batteries power these uh, pillars on the side these are not actually part these can slide out and th that's actually how you attach it these bits right here do not run off of the same power as it and that's rather unfortunate but you push the little button right here and that lights up it's kind of harder to see because of all my uh, studio lighting here but sliding that right back in kind of there we go line that up slide that in you can kind of see it lit up obviously now oh, that actually shows up a lot better than I thought it did and then this one here boom again now it is unfortunate that these are, are not connected to the same mechanism that allows you to power this by that AC adapter. But in some scenes throughout the, the Iron Man movies, these pillows are lit up and some of them they're not. So personally for me, it doesn't really bug me all that much. But you can turn these off just like so. And it still looks really nice when it's all lit up. I absolutely love it. Now, <laughs> the uh, like I said, you do have the the glass that goes here and utilizing one that I've already gotten open up all you really do is you fit it in the grooves down here where those blue lights are and then you just take it and kind of push it up inside there it doesn't groove at anything at the top it kind of just frictions inside there but now you have a glass that surface I that surface I suppose for it although you can kind of see that it doesn't go all the way to the edge which kind of bugs me a little bit it, I, I, and, and it always kind of flops out because it doesn't really lock into anything at the top section so coming up so that you can see that a little bit better like I said it just kind of sits in here and then you can kind of see how the the light fills up the, the actual plastic itself so uh, that's kind of a pain in the butt especially with the gap here now uh, somebody was asking previously to show off the sides of it there's the side and it. It, it slides out sometimes but panning down there there's one side of it and you can see that it's nice and smooth all the way across but the problem though I guess some people might have is that on the opposite side as you can see there's the screw holes and that might discourage some people I don't think it's all that bad but one side you will always have that kind of ugliness I suppose now the glass here on the front it, 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 it I don't know I don't know if it serves two purposes or what but the the other thing that it comes with is a uh, hall of armor I'm doing it sideways a hologram sticker sheet now they're not actually stickers they're kind of like those st static cling kind of things but like I said I got a seven pack and this is what you get and uh, honestly I can't tell what to do with these now I'm not really all that bugged because I was never going to use these to be totally honest but you got three different compartments at least in mine and there are seven different sticker sheets in each one now what they tell you is that the stickers are mirrored so you're supposed to put it on the back but uh, like for example it's I'm going to pull one of these out uh I can't there's nothing on here I, I've actually taken one off I cannot see anything 
on this at all to know what these are or why I have a total of 21 of these. I, I have no clue and the instructions don't really help me with it. So I unfortunately cannot show you guys how the, the hologram looks, but basically what you're getting, well, is a display. And you can kind of see like there's the Mark I. You're able to get like a holographic display of sorts that goes on top of this clear plastic. It's kind of meant to look like Jarvis and showing a computer readout and such, but for me, I don't particularly like these, so I'm never going to use these anyhow. So I apologize if you guys were really hoping to see that. Uh, for, for me, though, like I said, I, I have no interest in displaying it with this. I just like the regular glass piece on here, and it it fell back. Uh, I just like leaving the glass there as a as a display thing. I don't like the, the computer readout on here. It wasn't something that was always on here. And honestly, I don't even remember a scene where it, it was there. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't remember seeing that. It's a nice touch, and I absolutely love how they're those, like I said, static cling kind of window stickers, because you can put them on and you can take them off. The only thing that you have to worry about is like the bubbling effect, but they do actually recommend that when you are putting the stickers on, to, to use soapy water to, to make it a little bit easier and get a smoother result on there. So I do appreciate that. You know, and like I said, I mean, it is really nice that they aren't stickers. I, I really do appreciate that, because one of the biggest things I was worried about was if you you screw up putting that sticker on you're basically screwed if it's a sticker because there's no way to take it off and put it back on nice and cleanly these are I keep calling them stickers but they're not really stickers they're those static clean window decal things which you can pull on and put back on it's really very easy now one thing that having a giant piece of plexiglass would probably worry some collectors is getting fingerprints on it you can see I'm uh, trying to hold it by the edges but one thing that's actually really cool and I'm only really showing this off because they threw this in there Sideshow Collectibles will be featuring and selling these collectible care kits here in the near future Right now, they're giving away, I think, through Halloween uh, on their social media sites, such as Twitter and Facebook, just as kind of free gifts, and I just figured I'd show it off, but you got, uh, ah, uh, you got, like, this little uh, uh, tip sheet here, and I'm dropping things that, you know, tell you how to display, store things, what are good tips, such as avoiding direct sunlight, very important, uh, avoid areas prone to moisture and extreme hot and cold, such as attics or basements, you know, remove the batteries, so just general tips on how, how to store your hot toys, which are very expensive. Then and it comes with a couple different things and it says the, the most common for <laughs> the most common issue for collectors is dust and you know I, I, for this you got fingerprints so you got this nice kind of little cloth thing on here that you could use to wipe off the fingerprints you got this nice little uh, paintbrush sort of thing that this is a very intricate kind of piece here that you can see there's a lot of things in here you can get in here and dust with something like this uh something like odin or thor or loki they have the capes so you get a nice lint roller to keep that clean and then a little tiny pair of scissors such as what a black widow would would really have needed because on on her head sculpt you know she had the real hair and a lot of those little random strands would go all over the place that'd be nice just to snip it off and be done with it and then like i said you got the you know d just a little tip thing so that's a wonderful little thing and like i said this will be available on social collectibles in the near future but right now they're just giving them away as part of uh, a, a Halloween spooktacular thing so check out their their Facebook and Twitter and you can get all that information now like I said uh, with, with this it, I guess it's personal preference whether or not you want to have this displayed in here uh, permanently nah, I, I it's it's in some scenes it looks like there's glass that's protecting the hall of armor and in some scenes it doesn't look like there is now if you want to attach more than one like i said i got seven of these bad boys so i can show this off to you so what you basically have here is the two different sets and you can see well you, you kind of can't uh, each one is on a slight angle so as you're doing this it's going to kind of be a rounded sort of display much like it really was in the movie now if you're going to do this individually i'm putting all the lights on if you're gonna set them up individually and here i'll put these little lights on too uh then turning the the lights on and things like that the, the power is not dispersed between the two of them so like i'm gonna turn this one off if i plug it in and leave this one on i don't think the power connects all the way through that you only get that effect if you have the, the ac adapter if you plug one in the power goes all the way through because you can see that there's these little connector bits right down here that all you have to do to connect these i'm gonna slide this this out and then you bring the two halves together just like that 
Then you come around here to the bottom, you have little tracks on the inside. Let me get this out of the way so you can see it just a little bit clearer and then zoom in here. And then just take this, slide this all the way over, kind of locks that into place, do that on this side as well. So now you have one nice track. Come up to the top and you do the same thing up there. Just line that up just like so. And you can see they're, they're pushed together and the power doesn't continue all the way through. So you don't get that shared electricity or whatever. And then now you basically have created an extra one of these. So you won't need the, the other one. I mean, like I said, you have a total of four of these walls when you have two of them. By taking one out and then you just slide this in, you created that nice track. Let me get that lined up there good. Come on. Push that all the way in. It really isn't as difficult as I'm making it appear to be, I, I promise you guys. Let's see here. And then when you get it all the way in, that's what you're basically left with. And like I said, you would have to have the additional power to, or additional batteries in both of them to get it lined up and stuff. And then it, it kind of keeps them together, not too terribly well, but it does sort of lock them together by having this slide in and bridge the two gaps. But here you have the armors, guys. And here's actually my display currently set up right now. And as you can see, all four of those are actually interconnected. Uh, I don't have the batteries in these middle pillars just because, like I said, I don't particularly particularly like that on. I think it looks a little bit better with them off, but as you can see, that's how it looks with them in the suit. There's the uh, Mark II looking really very nice. And then coming across and then there's Tony, there's two empty ones because I unfortunately only have two suits, the Mark II and there's the Mark VII, which uh, I do have the battle damage stuff in there just to kind of make them look a little bit more authentic to the movie and then of course Tony on his little display stand but that currently is set up right now where it's running off of the the AC adapter I don't have batteries in those so uh, with a flip flip of a switch I can turn them off whenever I want uh, same thing with that uh, stand right there I actually have that battery part as well so that's the way it looks when they're all assembled and connected and I love it I think it's fantastic looking uh, as you can see I don't have the holographic bits on there, I, I do have that blue light. You can see that coming through actually through the top there, but beyond the way the that they look right here, this is all I'm gonna basically do for my display. Uh, as I get other suits, I'm gonna add them to it. And like I said, I have all seven of these because financially it makes more sense to buy them. If you buy them individually, they're $129. The more that you buy, the more that you end up saving. Buying all seven of them works out to be like $114 that you pay for them. But however you do it, I highly recommend them. I love the way that this looks. But beyond that, the bottom line is, do I think that these just basically plastic boxes are worth, like I said, the $129 if you buy them individually? And that's really a difficult question to answer. If you've already bought all seven of the Iron Man suits, which range from about $250 to $300, complaining about these boxes is pretty pointless if you ask me, especially when, when you're talking the price. I think they look terrific. They absolutely capture the look of the, the Hall of Armor in the Iron Man movies, as well as the Avengers. And I, I, honestly, I, I do think that they are worth it, probably more so if you are collecting those Iron Man figures. I do have a few minor complaints. Number one being, I wish it, there was a way that they could actually incorporate these lights into the actual power mechanism from the actual stand. Because if I had the choice, I would like these to be able to stay lit up the whole time. Uh, with them turning off, uh, it's it's not terrible. I mean, you can, you can see it still doesn't look really all that bad. But any and all ways that I could save on batteries, I would choose to do that. So that's a, a minor nitpick in the, the design, I would say. Uh, and I, I honestly do wish that the stickers were a little bit more easy to understand in terms of their application. Like I said, I got a total of seven of these plastic boxes, but I have 21 stickers and I have no idea why. And I can't look at the stickers. You could, you could see there's nothing on the sticker. And I actually oh, took one off. I put it on the plastic and I put it on here to see if I would see anything. And I saw nothing. So it's hard. Oh, hi. Hi, guys. So it's hard for me to say that I, I like that feature when I can't even figure out how to use it. If you are interested in seeing what it looks like, I'll put a link to Sideshow Collectibles down in the video description. You can actually see it on their product page and you can take a look at what it looks like. But like I said, it's that's that's not something I was ever going to use. Even if I could figure out how to use it, I wasn't ever going to use it because I just prefer to leave the, the clear glass on here just as part of this display. I don't necessarily like having the holographic projection on there. So 
is no big deal to me. But I know some people, you know, paying that $130 would probably like that. I think the quality is definitely there to warrant the $130 price. I like the light up feature. So for me, I do think it's worth that price. And like I said, if you're gonna qualm over the price of these, meanwhile collecting all the other hot toys, just just get out of the hobby because <laughs> complaining about the price is, is pretty irrelevant if you ask me we know what we're what we're paying when we get into this particular uh, collectible market with hot toys and one six scale figure so uh, that's I, I guess that's a, a tangent that's my personal opinion i guess but uh, i do like it i think they are worth it and i i do recommend picking them up guys i, I really do especially if you have all seven of them because i think it's going to look awesome i mean i only have two and i have four like you could see in my display i think it's going to look great I, I love the way that it looks, even with just the two in there. To the point right now, I'm going anywhere and everywhere to find good deals on the, the, the remaining five suits. I, I need to get those. So that's about it, guys. So like I said, if you are interested in picking this up, go ahead and click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to Sideshow Collectibles where you can take a look at all their Hot Toy stuff in addition to these amazing Hall of Armor sets. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibonimus. Keep in touch with me. Find out recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at Facebook.com slash TeamBottomus. And follow me over on Twitter at Twitter.com slash And until next time, I'll talk to you later.